Shukar Ali is a livestock farmer who lost his home in the floods. He and his family have been living on the side of this road for almost a week now without any kind of help. Go and see the condition of our home. What is the point of talking about it? It is only Allah who can provide. He is the one who gives and who takes away. Sweetie Begum is waiting for government assistance on the outskirts of the city of Silet. After queuing for hours, she is beginning to lose hope. There is water all around my home, chest deep. We've been sitting here waiting for relief for hours and so far we've received nothing. Armed forces have rescued or evacuated more than 100,000 people from two of the worst hit districts in the northeast. Many others are still stranded in remote rural areas. This is one of the many schools in Shunam and Silet region that has been used as makeshift shelter for those villagers who were affected by the flood. Most of the people took shelter on their own. Now they're in desperate need for food and fresh water. Even residents in urban areas with better drainage systems are affected. We've never seen floods like this in our lifetime. Our home has water up to the hip. We've no running water and electricity. We're now using rainwater. During her visit to the area, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina said future building developments should take into account the number of natural disasters that Bangladesh experiences. Many of these people are still recovering from the last month's pre-monsoon flash floods. We left our home to take shelter here. There's no food or fresh water. It would help if we got some relief from the government so we can get by. For the poor rural farmers who have lost everything, it'll take months, if not years, to rebuild their homes. They need all the assistance they can get, but help is yet to come. Tanvi Chaudhary, Al Jazeera, Silet, Northeast Bangladesh.